friends and this video we are going to make a cute little lemonade um, drink if you will so the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need your lightweight dap spackle let me go ahead and bring that into frame here and that is this right here so you're going to need that make sure it's lightweight or it will not work it'll be too heavy and then you're going to need your glass you're going to need your paint color i am using um sunny yellow for this project a uh, popsicle stick and then you're going to need a piping bag and piping tip i'm using one m for the top i'm going to have to add more spackling to that and then um something to scoop your spackle out so i already did this it's already mixed up from a previous project that i was just working on prior to this video and after thinking about this i was going to add some vinyl to this but i'll do it afterwards it's going to be a little bit of a of a challenge but i am going to go ahead and accept the challenge and you'll see it in a different video um but i'll end up putting it on it it's just not going to happen today just because of the time constraint and then you're also going to need some type of topper now i'm going to go ahead and use this wood disc it is a little bit if you can tell here it is a little bit larger um than so I actually i'm going to see if i have a smaller one i don't have a smaller one now another thing that you could do i'm a little curious to see how well this is gonna work. We'll make it work. I have an idea what I'm gonna do. Um, you can also put styrofoam in there to kind of build it up. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna add your spackle, your paint to your spackle, and then you're gonna to wanna to stir it, make sure there's no white showing. Keep in mind it's already white, so what will happen is it will um, lighten up quite a bit, and you're just gonna add your spackle to your drinkware here, and you're just gonna push it on there and that's kind of you can kind of start to see how it's getting um, covered and this just prevents you to having to um, add a whole lot of spackle spackle is pretty expensive I um, you can get it cheaper so if you want to kind of see if this is something that you are interested in doing you can get it from the Dollar Tree and it looks like I just broke my popsicle stick so I'm gonna come in with my other one um, but you can get some lightweight speckling from the Dollar Tree it's in a smaller container and looks like I didn't mix this too well so I'm gonna go ahead and mix that while we're talking but anyways you can get a smaller um, lightweight speckle from the Dollar Tree and give this a try if this is something that you're interested in, so that way you don't have to buy now Lowe's and Home Depot they do smell they do sell um, a smaller container but I like to do faux food so I do it a lot and I'm not going to worry about you know cleaning up my edges at the top because eventually I'll, I'll get that with a wet wipe now another thing you could do is you can also paint this with white or yellow chalk paint and I'm just pushing it on there trying to fill the voids <clears throat> So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this because I think we're gonna be here for a minute trying to get this all set up. So let's go ahead and fast forward and then we'll start working on the next part. here so I'm gonna go ahead I've thought about leaving it you know empty but I have all this extra spackle left over not empty but clear at the top I'm sorry and I thought that it would 
look cuter if I just go ahead and um, you know make it opaque here or fill it up at the top so you can kind of see now the bottom is obviously not covered and it doesn't matter because I'm not going to show the bottom but that looks good so you're just going to look around now the trick is is getting enough and then just bringing it up and you know pressing it up against the the glass okay so that looks pretty good to me and again you can paint it that's entirely up to you um, I'm going to go ahead and probably should have turned that on while I was doing that. Okay, so just this is kind of a part two because um, in the next video, just because my Cricut is a little indisposed right now, it's not indisposed, I just I kind of have things that <laughs> I have it covered up. And um, I'm going to go ahead and add um, the the text last and it's kind of a good thing or the vinyl last because it'll be in a different project or in a different video uh, just because I won't know how far down the whipped cream is going to go so uh, that's something to keep in mind now if you don't have these wood discs these wood discs are from Hobby Lobby and I'm sure Michaelis can carry it but you can also order them on um, Amazon and you, but if you don't have this and you don't want to run out to, to the craft store, add some styrofoam ball, like a big enough one where, in fact, I think I might try doing that. Well, you just got to be careful when you're, when you're putting it in there that you don't want to scrape your wall of your, your um, mug here. So in fact, I look like I missed one area. Um, so it's kind of a catch-22, like how you want to approach this. Like I said, I am, I just noticed it, I see a little imperfections in here. I have my hot glue gun because what I'm going to do is go ahead and glue this off. Now I will tell you since you're gluing it wood onto glass it will not um, it will pop off pretty easily so worst case scenario is if I want to redo this I can always pop it off although I'm going to put whipped cream around this area too because I got to kind of compensate with how large this is and if I want I could like I said I could find a styrofoam ball but <clears throat> or even foil right you can crinkle up foil and put it on there just to kind of fill the space because if not you're gonna it's gonna go right down this, the, the middle there okay while my hot glue gun is heating up I'm gonna need way more whipped cream than what I have right now so I'm gonna break, go ahead and get out my spackle spoon here and now this I don't care how much I can honestly have too much and I'll be okay with that because I can just go ahead and squeeze it back into the the tub here I think my hot glue gun is hot enough so I'm gonna come around and add some glue to this and then I'm gonna come up here and go ahead and get that centered well it glued down all right <laughs> we're gonna start at the center here And the reason why I, I would suggest if you're not, you'll understand why I'm going to have things stick in there. And the reason why I am not using like a fo um, foil, because I would rather use foil um, <clears throat> to put in the center to help fill the voids. So I don't have to use a lot of spackling, um, but I want to stick something in there and I don't know how far down I'm going to go. So I am just going to kind of build that up there. And then I'll just go ahead and go around. So it's a little bit of a waste of vinyl. You can also use styrofoam as well, styrofoam balls. And so I already know that I am going to have to um, add more speckling. Just be, by the way, I'm doing it right now.
Okay. So now what I'll do is I'll start building up the top. I would have used a larger spackling, or I would have used a larger piping bag, but unfortunately, I've already started using this in a different project, and so this just kind of what happened, all right? So, it's going to kind of go around and hit the spots. Now, because I... Um, did not have a solid center, it may cave in a little bit. So just kind of be aware. And I'm going to try to find where center is and start building that up. There we go. Okay. So all right, so that looks good to me. And then what we can do is start doing the sides and I'm going to go really big okay to kind of cover up that piece of wood and I apologize it's so hard to see because I don't have the best angle um, for faux foods I'm just now getting back into it so I'm gonna have to think about how I want to do my camera system for my faux foods. So bear with me. I appreciate you guys watching and dealing with the bad angle. <laughs> and I'm just using my fingers to kind of tone down the harshness of some of those peaks there. This is so funny. I probably should have gotten a, uh, <laughs> A, styr a styrofoam ball instead of this larger because it's like comes out and comes in and well you know <laughs> you, you, you live and learn right I was thinking it was gonna work and it just simply did not work and that's okay because I'm sure you guys can now see it come it's like top wired around where that wood is and then it comes in but I don't know. I think it's cute. Whatever. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to move that spackling to the side. And I have, now you're going to understand why I have these um, uh, lemon slices. I got them from Hobby Lobby. And I am just simply going to grab one of, not Hobby Lobby, Amazon. And then here's, now you understand why I didn't want to add like a styrofoam ball to help fill the void just because I didn't know how deep I want it to go. So I'm going to, I'm going to have to try to push it in. There we go. Like that. Okay. And then we also have the, um, uh, straw here. It's a yellow one. And I don't want it. Yeah, let's, no, I don't want it there. All right. So just so, in fact, I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out real quick. I'm gonna cut that down. It's a little bit too long for my liking. Um, cut it down about right there. And then go ahead and go back into that. Here we go. And I feel like she needs something else. I feel like I need to add some vinyl. So I'll do that in a different video because I gotta wait for this to dry and then um that is it now i will i do want to show you i'm going to move that over here so this is what it looks like love it and you can take a step further and add some glitter to that i'm not going to i kind of over the glitter today <laughs> this is um like project number three for me in this time span that i am recording but I am glad that I waited to get this spackling done because now I know where I need to focus on my, my vinyl. So for my Cricut um, subscribers who likes to watch all things Cricut, um, you'll see this again. I'll add the vinyl. I'm going to find a cute little design for that. And then you'll see how that is all done. Okay, so then um, if you don't have those lemon slices, I also did a... Um, mold out of Plaster Paris, which could work too, and I might have it kind of set up like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some paint here and 
go ahead. I'm going to paint this whole thing um, yellow. So let's go ahead and get this all painted. Okay, this is pretty much dry. So what I'll do is I'm going to come in with my white chalk paint. And you guys, I'll be honest, I am not a painter, but I'm going to go ahead and paint the center here. And as best as I can, and I'm going to come in at the middle. Now, while I'm doing this, let me kind of explain. Um, I got this mold from, I think, Michael's, believe it or not. And I went ahead and used Plaster Paris made quite a bit of those molds and bought them last year and weren't really wanted to use them so that's why I'm using that. Now this I am going to um, probably lay up against it maybe hot glue it maybe that's what I'll do I don't know you'll see the finished product of this um, of this lemonade drink um, in a different video or it might be this video. We'll see. <laughs> it might just piece because I can't record anymore past this video. I'm running short of time. And um, so I either will finish this up in this video or you'll see it in one of my Cricut videos, um, my Craft With Me videos, just to kind of, I might end up doing that. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see what I have time to do. Okay, that is, I'm going to bring that up so you guys can see that, but that is how that turned out, and I absolutely love it. And now, you could most certainly stick that in there. Um, this one ha it has a little bit more of a transparent, transparency on that one, and if I wanted to, I could probably, probably should be careful, what I'm going to do is probably pair it like this, kind of when I'm setting it on my table. You can kind of see, hopefully you can see that it's just resting up, so I might just do that. That's kind of cool, or I might... I don't know what I could do. Oh, you know what? I could probably hot glue these on a wood blank and then put easy peasy lemon squeezy. So I might do a few more. So if that ends up happening, you'll see that not in this video, in a definitely different video. So that way you kind of get a variety. But I think for right now, this is good to go. But I do think though, um, just because of how I feel like it's a little plain, it needs a little something, something. So I think what I'll do is I'll add maybe some ribbon around it and then also add some vinyl to this. So you'll see that in a different video, but I have to let this dry um, or it's just going to start leaning over and falling over, especially since I don't really have a solid center. So this is going to take a while for a dry. So for sure, we'll f do this later. And if I end up doing it in this video, you'll see here in a second, but chances are I'm going to bring this into a different video. All right. So this was, again, which is Plastic Paris from a silicone mold, mold excuse me. And um, I just went ahead and painted it. And again, that was the sunny yellow paint. And I just used some paint brushes and it dries pretty quickly. And um, you can make them as thick or as thin as you want them to be. It's entirely up to you. I do have some thicker pieces, but um, you know, either way would work fine. All right, well, thank you for watching. I will catch you guys in the next video.